Yo man, it's Sheep Blaster, and I want to talk to all the people that are my age, okay? So I'm 20 years old. I realize I'm very, very young. And I want to talk to people who are also a bit older than me. Um, just kind of people in their, like, before their mid-20s. If you're, if you're younger than, like, 25, I think this video applies. And it's this kind of modern-day hustle culture, and it makes us think that we need to have accomplished something so great by the time that we're this age oh by the time you're 25 you should be a millionaire oh by the time you're 20 you should you know you should be this high in your career and all this like stuff and i feel like there's so much pressure on us to have achieved something and i feel like i've been suffering from this a bit as well um i keep like thinking like man what the hell am i doing with my life and you know I think there's a lot of people who feel really misguided they don't have a clear direction as to where we're supposed to go we don't know what we're doing right and maybe it just takes time for us to actually reflect upon ourselves and what we really want and how we want to impact the world and all this good stuff but you're not wasting your life if you're alive and what I mean by this is, if you are consciously here, every single waking moment that like, you try to be like there and paying attention to what you're doing, if you try and like actually live in the present moment and breathe fully, then you're not wasting your life. Even if you're going out partying and doing like the stupidest stuff, like you're doing a bunch of drugs, you're all the time, like if you're doing that, as long as you're like there, you're still experiencing life. So that's not a waste of life. If you're, you know, grinding hard and studying hard and whatever it is, and you're working really hard, that's also not a waste. You have to stop thinking like, oh, but if I'm not being productive 100% of the time, then it's a waste. Because that's not true. As long as you go out and experience the world, and I feel like this is just like common sense to some degree, but I feel like not a lot of people, or some people just kind of ignore the common sense. Um... And I like that it's called common sense because sometimes it's not so common. But like, yeah, we just have so much pressure on us to always be productive, always be doing this stuff, especially in the self-improvement stuff. Like, especially when you're on this side of YouTube and it's like all your recommended videos are like, how to be productive. This is my morning routine. You should try this like new habit and it makes you 10 times more productive. Here's how to, you know, speed read. Here's how to learn faster. Here's how to do this. It's like listen apply it you know there's there's a million ways to do self-improvement there's a million you know little hacks and tricks that you could do there's like so many things that you could do to you know oh in the morning i do this and this and this and this every morning and that I, that like compounds into something great down the line and like yeah sure that's great but think for a second you know you've got to be alive first you know it doesn't matter if you're you know achieving something great if you're not actually there and you're not experiencing the hardships that come from those achievements. If you're just, you know, grinding, hoping that one day you'll achieve your goals and then you can be happy. That's no way to live because you're prolonging happiness. Because, oh, by the time I make this amount of money or when I, you know, live in this country, then I'll be happy. Then I'll be productive. Then I'll be, you know, all this stuff. You got, you got to stop living like that. You have to think, like, even when I'm in the shitter... I have to be alive. Even when I am I feel like shit and I have these terrible thoughts and, you know, my mental health's all messed up and I'm doing the wrong things every day. Even when you're in that kind of shithole, you need to experience it because ultimately that's like life. There is no negative or positive. It's all just an experience. It's all just like things that happen that we go through. We're not, you know, you can label things as, oh, this bad thing happened or this good thing happened. That's your perception. You can perceive things differently. <coughs> God, I'm spitting facts. <coughs> spitting facts so hard that my throat hurts. Um, <coughs> God. So yeah, where was I? If you read a good book, right, you can take the knowledge and the wisdom from that author, whatever it is, like if it's a fictional story and you're, you know, going through life as a fictional character or you're reading a self-help book on 10 ways to make a million dollars you know some like bullshit like there's so many like 
bro think about it like the self-help industry is like a billion dollar industry there's money to be made in this thing of course everyone's gonna try and sell you their quick gimmicks their 10 to top 10 hacks on how to be productive and all this like crap that literally doesn't mean anything the number one thing is that we just stay alive even when you're being unproductive even when you're being productive it doesn't matter And of course, there are like ways to make your experience of life better. Like that's all down and determined by your headspace and your mental health. You can, you know, experience life in a negative way when your headspace is negative. But actually, things are actually going quite well. Like I can say this from my own experience. When I was a teenager, I had this really warped negative perception of the world. And that made my whole life negative, even though I had hundreds of things that were going for me you know i had so many things that i should have looked on with grateful like gratitude i should have been grateful for that stuff and i wasn't because my headspace and my perception of the world was so negative so i just pushed it all back and i was like man like you know my life sucks i want to kill myself it's like what are you talking about look at your life look you've got a roof over your head you've got food on a plate you have you know you didn't even have to work Okay, little younger me, you didn't have to work. And here I am, like an adult. And, you know, my life doesn't suck, right? But definitely I'm not at the place where I want to be, right? Because I'm only 20. I haven't had the time to build the foundations of who I am as a person. I haven't, you know, had enough time to actually build something. Because building something takes time. And I've only been alive for 20 years. And, you know, technically I'd only... S count myself as being alive for like two years since i was 18 because when i was 18 i feel like that's when i started to actually realize like hang on i'm kind of an adult now i have to like do stuff and make stuff happen for myself and i do believe that i'm still like a child at heart like i'm still like i think even when i'm like 50 i'll probably still be a child at heart but the brain doesn't stop developing until you're 25 or it keeps developing until you're 25 so with that definition i always think okay when i'm 25 that's when like you know that's kind of the baseline for it. now you're a proper adult and things should be serious so i admire all the 14 year old you know hustling guys who you know they've they've built like this huge fucking business and they're making ten thousand pounds a month um online and they they still get good grades at school it's like okay good for you you know but there's plenty of us out there who are just we have no idea what the fuck we're doing and that's perfectly okay because eventually we will experience things in our lives and we will learn from those experiences and whatever we learn from those experiences will actually start to shape us as people we'll realize hey when i went to this place when i went to this country or when i went to this job interview i learned this and this and this and you have to take those lessons and apply them. You actually have to apply them because you can't just, you know, experience life and then, you know, not learn from your mistakes. It's just kind of dumb. Learn from the mistakes of others. You know, there's there's plenty of, like, resources out there, like podcasts and, you know, all this, like, information that everyone's trying to sell you. But yeah, that was a long run and I just don't know. There's plenty of things that you know, I wanna, I wanna build things and, you know, physically, like, like the way you could in, like, Minecraft or something, but I wanna do it in real life, so I think that's the difference, right, stop playing video games and build stuff in real life, so, yeah, this was, like, video all over the place, um, I hope it made sense, and if you do feel, like, misguided, you're gonna be okay, man, because, I hope that, you know, there's obviously, like, those, like, older people who are, like, 30, and they still don't know what they're doing in their lives, and to them, I say, like, <coughs> I don't say that, um, like, look at what you're doing, and if it's just been the same thing for the last 10 years, then you know that something has to change, and you have to change, like, the little things you do each day, it's not like, oh, a huge revamp, although that can help, it's like, you move countries, or you, you move houses or something, you change your environment very drastically 
that will help you. But at the same time, you have to look at what you're doing in, in each each day, each moment. Okay, do I decide to, you know, eat that cookie or not? Okay, that is a decision. And in the moment, it doesn't seem like much. It doesn't seem like, okay, choosing to eat the cookie doesn't seem that harmful. But if you keep making that decision every day, then you're gonna have, like, a cookie-shaped body. Okay, you are what you eat, you'll turn into a cookie, and you don't want to turn into a cookie. So, don't be a cookie.